number seven or what the moon is. I'm... And at least Sesame Street is actually talking about this. The rest of us are much happier completely ignoring it. Perhaps because it's so easy not to care about prisoners. They are, by definition, convicted criminals. In fact, it's so easy not to care that we are really comfortable making jokes about one of the most horrifying things that can potentially happen to them. Go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. And do not, I repeat, do not drop the soap.
Records show 65 instances where Aramark employees failed to provide food or ran out. Private vendor Aramark changed recipes to include cheaper, sometimes substandard ingredients. Aramark Correctional Services made headlines recently after maggots were found in food served at prisons here in Michigan. That is not good. The only time when you are happy to hear the words maggots were found is when you are a maggot whose family was lost at sea. We floated three days on a piece of bread, but we never lost hope. And it's not just food being privatised, it's prison health care too. Arizona tried that. Guess how it turned out. Medical spending in prisons dropped by $30 million and staffing levels plummeted. 50 people died in Arizona Department of Corrections custody in just the first eight months of this year. Compare that to 37 deaths in the previous two years combined. 50 deaths? At this point, you could hire the people who pretend to be doctors on Grey's Anatomy and you would probably have a lower mortality rate and a lot more intrigue. Cutting costs has led to some incredible things happening in Arizona. One prisoner had a C-section in jail, and this is how she says they treated her. They decided to use sugar. Kitchen sugar. What do you mean, they use kitchen sugar? Um, the packets like McDonald's, the sugar, they would open it, pour it inside, and put um, gauze over it, and tape it up. And I've had to do that for like three weeks. And they poured them in the C-section? Yeah. Did they tell you why they were doing that? One of the doctors learned it from... I don't even know. I don't know. But it basically the home remedy. Sugar was used to treat wounds before the advent of antibiotics back in the early 1900s. Yeah, but then we all decided it was no longer an acceptable medical practice. Like curing a child's cough with heroin. Well, he's not coughing anymore. Yeah, he's not really doing much of anything anymore. And I can't find any of the good silver. Look, look. Look. You will never pay a political price for treating prisoners like this woman badly. You don't even need to pretend to care. Here is how one Arizona lawmaker responded to her story. That doesn't sound like a true allegation. That sounds ridiculous. You know, prisoners have, uh, you know, 24-7 to think up allegations and write letters. I'm not saying that uh, that some of them can't have a basis in fact, but you got to take them with a grain of salt, or in the case of the hospital, maybe a grain of sugar. Somewhere in hell, Satan just sharpened his pitchfork and said to his secretary, do me a favor, Janice, and let me know when that guy gets here, okay? I just want to be ready. Many states are even contracting out entire prisons. Nearly 9% of prisons are currently run by private firms like Geo Group and Corrections Corporation of America, who had combined revenues of over $3 billion last year. They're publicly traded, and while their marketing materials emphasize how much they do to help their prisoners rebuild their lives, their pitch to investors has been a little bit different. In a recent investor presentation, CCA pitches its unique investment opportunity. Another reason investing in the jailing of people makes good financial sense? High recidivism. Oh, that's, that is a great way to reassure your investors. Look, 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 we see your concerns, you know, what if we fully rehabilitate the prisoners and they become fully functional members of society? Well, don't worry, that's not the kind of company we're running here, don't worry. Once we're done with these prisoners, they're like human boomerangs. They're broken right in the middle, and they keep coming back. The, the key problem with running prisons as businesses is that prisons are then run as businesses. Pay and staffing ratios are so much lower that a geo group youth facility in Mississippi sometimes had just two officers overseeing as many as 256 prisoners. That facility eventually closed, but only after a federal judge wrote that physical and sexual abuse was rampant there because its operators had allowed a cesspool of unconstitutional and inhuman, inhuman acts and conditions to germinate. Now, I know the GEO will say that presents an unbalanced picture of their company, so in the interest of balance, I will point out that they got an award from the state of Florida citing their bold and innovative cost-saving business practices.
Although I think we all know when the state of Florida gives you an award, that award is basically sarcastic. In fact, uh, a quick side note. The award was signed by Florida Governor Rick Scott, who has led the drive for prison privatization in his state, but on one condition. What I've said all along is that, uh, yeah, this is an opportunity for uh, the taxpayers of the state uh, to save money. There is no way we'll do this if we don't save money. As you know, what the bill says is that if we don't save at least 7%, uh, we don't do prison privatization. Hey, 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 listen, if you think Rick Scott is going to look the other way for a company with a history of the physical abuse of minors for savings of a mere 6%, you don't know Rick Scott, okay? Ricky needs 7, Ricky wants 7. Ricky likes 7, okay? Now, if you happen at all to be interested in asking Rick Scott about the conduct of the GEO Group, for goodness sake, don't do it tomorrow night. He's busy. Uh, we actually checked, and he's going to be at a fundraiser at the home of, and this is true, the CEO of GEO Group. I believe the theme of that fundraiser is a cesspool of unconstitutional and inhumane acts. <laughs> So depressing. Private prisons are bad, yes, but the whole system just seems fundamentally broken. You know what? I, I think, if you don't mind, I need a minute. I, I actually need some help understanding this, if you don't mind. Settlement on Mars. 
I'm sure that one of the first things I'll open up is a coffee.